Yan Bingela Dumela Chobela Bonjo Nazur, Kutan Mok and Edu Remacher Nina Itakalaga Mandash Kem Shine Shaka Tegi. Be blessed today. This is the arena of the supernatural where supernatural is always natural. I'm Dr. Sonas with some Sami. And I'm Dr. Tapsalem Somi. Good afternoon, good morning. Sanborn and Injani having in Tanda and Pella La Pogamin. <laughs> but I'm talking to those who are watching us overseas, Yabona, who are watching us about my repeat. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, oh, I'm going to be a mini man. Oh, Yabona, yes. Oh, San Bona, man. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Yeah, this is wonderful. We are still speaking about the heart. It's a beautiful set. Uh, I think you, you bear witness with us. Yeah. With English, the heart, it's something else. Mm. Something that you never thought. It's like this. Yeah, yeah. And in Yakoluguti, there has been some transformation happening in your life. Yazi, I was reading the scripture that you're going to preach about today. When you say, delight yourself also in the Lord, is found in Psalms, chapter 37, verse 4. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Mm -hmm. You know, there is something profound that you said. You said, uh, sometimes when we talk about desires, we think about good things only. But sometimes you, become, you are a Christian, but you keep negative desires in your heart mm -hmm. bitterness anger revenge and then you'll find that god will give you those desires mm -hmm. uh, and then you don't realize that you, i mean you you are asking for something else but you are keeping something else in your heart mm -hmm. and that blessed me so much and also it is important that we delight ourselves in the lord i'm just thinking the, the word delight is like like this like like Yes, delicacies and like dessert. It's like mm, I'm looking forward to to dessert, delicious. It's like you must enjoy God. You must keep Him in your heart. You must think about Him day and night. And when you delight on Him, then your desires will manifest. You're gonna be blessed by this sermon. Yeah. Thank you for those who are supporting this ministry with their finances. Thank you very much. You're gonna be blessed. There are so many people who are blessed because of this program yes may the good lord bless you as you are watching this amen be blessed I call you hard drive if i'm a hard drive and she's you there's no other hard drive that is like the hard drive of the heart wickedness is in the heart is in the heart pain is in the heart, pain is in the heart. Separation of the is in the heart. I'm counting only the bad things. Even though it is so, jo enjoyment and joy and peace is in the heart. In this one heart, it has all things. It's 
full of evil. It's full of evil. And, this, and it's also full of love. There are people that want to do good things for, but it has and it wants to do bad things Same heart. There are people that you smile to. There are people that you frown at. There are people that you protect. And there are people that you take with this one heart. There are people that you are and there are other people that you are living with one heart. In other words, the heart it has life where it hides things. I've explained that. But now I'm going into the pretensions. See, in the pretensions of the heart, that's where the will lies. In the pretensions of our heart, that's where the light of God is. Can I say, brethren? Let me ask. If if you squeeze a Colgate, a Colgate what comes out? What comes out? It's Colgate. Is it why does it? Why is it Colgate? Because that's what's inside. What happens to you when, when you go through pressure that's going to squeeze you? What comes out? Peter could take out this um, insult because his heart is wicked and there's already Peter will say, I don't know I this is. And he slams out. Where does the swear word come from? It comes from the depths of the heart. As you'll be able to slam doors, it's already because there's a great job. It's because there's don't blame people. Don't blame your children or your husband. Blame yourself. Because you have not purified your heart. It's just that the situation came that came to squeeze the tube so that what's inside could come out. You like to blame other people. I date because I'm poor. How many people are poor but do not date? How many virgins that go to the reed dance? Sometimes Unkulunkul. Some, sometimes, sometimes God allows things that, to come that squeeze us so that things, the things that are inside of us can come out. What he took the children of Israel through the wilderness so that the things that are in the depths of their heart would come out. But you always blame people for your reactions. I would not have done it like this if he did not do that. Sugar. Nonsense. This thing was already in your heart. Many brethren don't go. Their lives don't go anywhere because of the words that they have spoken. You see the heart? It has pretensions. Where things dwell in, in the pretensions of the heart is where the will dwells. Have you heard that the spirit of is the light of Jesus? Have you never heard that? I'm teaching you the Bible says the spirit of man is the light of God. Is the light of God. Where is the spirit of the man? 
It is in the heart. You see the heart? It's where there is the chamber of the spiritual lies. The demon of the will, when it wants to dominate you and control you, do you know where it goes? It goes to the heart. When it goes from the heart, it goes into the will. And then it holds the steering wheel. And the steering wheel is in the will. And it holds onto it. And once your will is tainted, your vision changes. Though your perception changes. Don't speak something that you do not want. Speak things that you want to happen. I don't want someone to me. I don't want someone to me. I don't want someone to me. What you're saying is actually what you want. Why do you only say things that you do not want? Because what you take out of your mouth is a seed. Say things that you want. Even God said, let there be light. He didn't say, let there not be darkness. We are busy saying things that are there that we don't want, but we should be saying things that are not there that we want. We're taking out what is already in our hearts. That is in the pretensions of our hearts. Can I tell you? God searches. He searches the pretensions of the heart. God searches. He is an evaluator. Shop. Here we will take you through our online store where you can buy any item in our secure online store and our courier company will deliver your item right to your door. We have four different products. DVDs, CDs, books, and t-shirts. How to make your purchase. To select a DVD, click on the DVD. Indicate how many copies you would like to buy and you can add it to your cart. You can continue shopping for more this way until you are ready to check out and the total amount of your purchase will be displayed. Next, you will be required to fill in your personal information, whether you're a first time buyer or an existing buyer or a returning customer. You will then click by your login and using your credentials, such as your email and password. After you have finished, proceed to payment. Agree with our terms and conditions of our website. This will then redirect you to our secure online payment system, Paygate or Payfast, depending on which secure online system you have selected. You will then fill in your cardholder number found on the front of your card as well as the expiry date and the CVV, which is the last three digits at the back of your card. Click Next. You will get a notification on your cell phone to confirm the payment and receive the OTP code that you will have to put in back on the website to confirm the payment. You will then receive an email of payment as well as an SMS to say that the order was received. After the payment has been received, our team will process your payment to our courier team Dawn Wing or Fastway to deliver your item to your door within three to four days and you will be able to trace where your parcel is and be notified via email and SMS the update of your parcel. Let me tell, show you something. Maybe you'll hear this well. Here are these people. They have caught this woman in adultery and they're dragging her by her hair. Come here. And they're calling her those names. And they throw her before the feet of Jesus. And they throw her before the feet of Jesus. And they say, Jesus, the law of Moses says, that when we find her in adultery, we have to stone her 
to death. What do you say, Jesus? Because Jesus searches the pretensions of the heart. And they said, Jesus, here she is. What do you say? The law says, but what do you say? You know what Jesus said? You see, you see these people they're dragging the situation the woman is being dragged by the situation she is wrong she's been found in adultery but God he surpasses the fact that she's wrong and enters into the pretensions what made her do this? Then he passed them. He didn't just search the heart. Please hear me. Do you hear me, brethren? So, so Jesus, when they threw her at his feet, evaluated her heart, and she agrees that she has sinned. Please forgive her. It is true that they have found me an adultery. Then Jesus now looks at their heart. And he sees that you two last night were in a but no one caught you. Last week, now Last week you were in a but no one caught you. You've done the very same son. So he said, you were also doing this thing. Because you can see the heart. Do you know what he said? He said, he who has no sin, this sin. That means he's gone deep and deep into the depths of the heart. And he saw in their hearts, you also did this. And he threw the stone down. And he said, you also did it. You've also done it. And you were also doing it. You were also doing it. And all of them left. But as a spreader that speak in tongues, that prophesy, that know things, we would have crucified her. Because we are the experts of despising people. They forget that the people that we visited, they were died for by Jesus. We don't look at the person that this person has been here. So that you can take them and discard them. So that you can take them and take them and discard them. We don't want to help people. We want to show them that they are sinners. We need to be thrown away. Because they're sinners. 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 They're when you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," you throw that stone and be like, 
You're busy running other people's lives when you can't even run your own life. It is a full-time job. It is a full-time job. Oh God, your own heart and then at the same time God That is impossible. Even if you can focus on your own and make and act like Jesus you you can see a speck in someone's eye. But there is a log in your eye. The log. You can't see the log in your own eye. To mind your own business, leave others people's business. In other words, nage zaki nda wuyege zabanya bantu. Can I tell you, brother? It is a, the heart. It's a full-time job. It just is a wonder. It just escapes. And it will leave you. And you'll be angry alone in the house. And you'll be bumping people at home. Because there's something that you're doing. And you, they will ask, what happened to you? He's just trampling around. And not speaking to but us. But the heart has already been taken. It's already just up for itself in their pretensions. Amen, amen, amen. What a powerful sermon and a powerful series. And we know, we know, we don't hope, we know that you have been blessed and your heart has been changed because our hearts have been impacted in a very positive way. We will never be the same again after having listened to this message which comes straight from the throne of God. I'm no longer the same. And my intention right now is for my heart to be pure and to look unto God and delight myself in the Lord so that he will fulfill my desires. And I'm hoping that that's also your intention in the name of Jesus. Before we can go home, we just want to say thank you for supporting us and to keep on watching this program. We receive uh, feedback from you guys and we honor you writing to us and telling us how you feel about our program and may the lord bless you for that and please stay tuned for next week because hey i don't know what has gotten to my husband these days this the message that he's preaching is like they shake you they shake even the foundations and to next week we'll, he'll be preaching on if you're a politician if you're in business world and if also you are a leader, a, a, a pastor, tell your pastor, tell you, everyone that you know to come and tune in next week because he'll be preaching about the spirit of Haman that's destroying the politics, the, the church of God, even in our community. And he preached in a very powerful way. It actually, it's a prophecy that everyone needs to hear in these days. And also there is a prophecy at the end that will be given to you that concerns even the economy of South Africa and Africa as a whole. So we are so excited that God is doing something great in Africa and also in South Africa. Yes, we see the signs that things are not good, but we are declaring in 2019 that Africa and South Africa, you are in God's heart. So don't miss that session next week in Jesus' name. But we can't leave you without inviting you to our Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to pray for those who want to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Say these words after me. Amen. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my I heart. I accept you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. Forgive me. Forgive me. All of my sins. All of my sins. And make me whole. And make me whole. By saying that prayer, you are born again. You must attend a Bible-believing church, yes. and you are going to be helped and grow and discipled. In Amen. Jesus' name. Let me pray for those who are sick right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release life, I release healing, yes, I release Lord. deliverance, I release the abundance of life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that you are healed, you have delivered, you yes. are blessed in Jesus' name. In Golula, Jesus Golula, name. Golula, Golula, Golula. Golula. And before we just uh, leave, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. The link is here on the screen. Subscribe so, and also just click that button so that you will know when we've uploaded a new sermon. 
go and watch the Heart series. You have to watch it in, in, in its complete uh, co entirety. Okay. Yes. Also, if you want to buy online, go to our website, also on the screen, and buy online in Jesus' name. And we know that you will be blessed. And also, if you want to donate, you can donate any amount above 200 rands. You will receive an MP3 gift of the heart in this month of February, also in the month of March. So when you do that, we will send you a copy. Our media team will call you and also send you a copy. We so much love you and appreciate you. You are in our hearts in the name of Jesus. May God bless you. Amen. It's easy, 2019. Hashtag Gulula. 2019. May God bless you. Shalom. Amen.